Um, so yeah, I'd just like to uh, explain to the YouTube audience, I'm now talking to Ben, who's one of the early members, uh, one of the early members of, of, the, of the new group Beyond Politics, which is uh, it's kind of a combination of a direct action group, also potentially with uh, potentially with political sort of aspirations uh, as, as a part of your strategy, I believe. Um, Sort of, I know your your direct action group to start with, but there's something in the strategy strategy about possibly manoeuvring into being a political party if necessary. Is that correct, or do you want to tell me if that's a correct it, assessment? It, it it is a very it is a correct assessment. To be honest, uh, um, uh, we we realise that that the government is like everybody else. The government is uh, all our woes. And we can point all our things at the, at the people that bring all our woes, and that's and that's the government, the people yeah. that, that, that are in charge of us. Um, and what we realise is we can't keep fighting them from the outside. Uh, two things: we can't keep fighting them from the outside. We have to enter into their field, but we're going to enter into their field. We'll try to enter into their field in a bit of a way that's um, a bit of a parody, really. It's we have only one thing we want to do, and that's and that's to hand power back to back to to the people, but in, in the form of petitionary citizen petitionary uh, d uh, um, informed decision making citizens assemblies. Um, basically, um, you can't take a system down unless you've got something in place. So we're trying to be that thing that we can put in place. Um, and it, it sounds a bit grand that we're going for government. It does sound very grand, but we're, but the scale of it is first to test it out in our local back, battlegrounds, to test it out for mayoral elections, council elections, get get it into the public psyche, get this into everyday speech, get it into actually we have power as citizens, we have power as general public, we have our own power. We just have never, ever, ever been allowed to been allowed to use it apart from an election day. When well, we all know that's a farce, I, 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 and it's more of a farce now when you've got the left and the right actually just just being the same, and then you've got the fringe parties which are just trying to reform things. It's reformists doesn't really work, does it? It needs to be stripped right back, and we need to be given something new. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, obviously in my opinion. Yeah. No. No. I mean, like personally. Uh... Personally, I would love to see uh, the the end of the end of representative democracy and and the beginning of direct democracy. Like I agree that yeah, if we could abolish if we could abolish parliament as it is now and have instead have some kind of citizens citizen citizen led parliament, citizens assembly is rotating somehow. I would love for that to happen. I just don't know how we can get there. So so what? Um, so what, what the direct action part of Beyond Politics, because I saw, basically I was drawn to you because I saw a little video on YouTube the other day and it was a direct action and one of the people doing it was a woman called Jenny who I was really pleased to see because I met her like months back on the Boat No Heathrow action which was like rising up action before Extinction Rebellion, like stopping the Heathrow ex expansion. I was really impressed when I met Jenny because she was like, just sort of no nonsense, hardworking activist, and she 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 just sort. Of, I remember her sort of striding off down the street in London, leading a group of us, like when we were doing this far hunger strike, and she was just like really impressive. Um, so it was partly seeing her involved in this action. I thought, oh, this looks like. And and I saw that the name of the group was Beyond Politics, which is which is obviously related to the Extinction Rebellion three demands. Um, and I know that some of the kind of, and I know that some of the, I know it's, that it's, it's debatable because I, I, I saw it. Um, I first originally heard it in in uh, Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice, oh, okay. and that's a, that, that we, 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 it's a Gandhi quote, but it's a Vikram Gandhi director of Batman versus Superman: Dawn of Justice, and it's where they're in the, it's where they're in the, um, in the press room. At the, uh, at the Daily Planet and they're discussing about it and there's one of them talking away in the background saying this is what happens, you have this God come down, we, we try to make this God, this superhuman, this God 
act like us and abide by our, our own rules. We need to create a paradigm shift. We need to move beyond politics. And it's like, oh, yeah, I love that. We'll have that. So this is a bit of confusion, and I'm sure beyond, I'm sure Extinction Rebellion must have watched uh, Batman versus Superman and got it from there as well. Don't tell Claire F that though. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, but but uh, there are some because I spoke to Blythe on the phone the other day. She said there is there are some members of Extinction Rebellion that are in that are in beyond politics. But she 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 said something like. Um, it's like it's like it's beyond politics. It's like Extinction Rebellion used to be when it first, like more radical, basically. <laughs> um, it is, and some people have have actually, uh, in a bad way, actually likened us to the to the IRA and the real IRA. Um, uh, in that sense but 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 it's it, what it basically we all met most of us met in in extinction rebellion i was extinction rebellion the first time i met jenny was in uh back in of october november 2018 when we shut Vauxhall bridge off together right on, uh, in the morning it was pete russia me roger jenny and a, and a handful of others the seven of us just took Vauxhall bridge for three and a half hours so i've been in extinction rebellion like that for that long uh it, it's we we know there's voices out there but that, that aren't being reached uh and this is this is where we're gaining our power from is we're trying to drag we're trying to reach out into every corner of society every every estate every absolutely everywhere this is why you've got so many faces and i'm on a video you'd have seen a lovely lady called tracy she's, yeah. she, uh, she she talks so so cleanly and so freely. Yeah, she's amazing, amazing. And we've got Valerie, and it's just it's just everyone just giving it a go. We're a bit punk. We're just not trying to have any of your usual stuff. We're just trying, yeah. just recognizing we are all different voices. Uh, you know, and it is we're trying to. It, well, we, we've actually it, we we didn't construct it like this, but it is it has just been sort of coming out, and we just seem to be the underbellies of society, but it's just actually coming up and then being allowed to speak for once. Yeah, well, that sounds great. I mean, like Extinction Rebellion has been criticised for being a bit too hippie. So if you're more of a punk movement, then that's that's what we need. <laughs> there's, there's a great song just being released by a uh, by a female artist called uh, Billy No Mates, and uh, I'm sure she's singing about um, uh, Extinction Rebellion. It's called Hippie Elite, <laughs> and, and the lyrics basically go: that "She'd love to join the hippie elite, but she's only got this unlimited amount of time in her lunchtime." Like in her lunch break. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's good. Um, so, yeah, so Blythe mentioned that you've got actions coming up and you are, so you're obviously you're not adverse to working with Extinction Rebellion. You're going to sort of do stuff at the same time as them. And uh, I think Blythe mentioned you're, you might even be hopefully making some links with some anarchist groups and stuff as well. Is that right? Yeah, yeah it is. We, 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 we have this, uh, we will reach out to anybody. As long as they can abide by our, our, our rules, and our rules are keep the num keep the violence out, and do what the f you like. Yeah. Basically, that's that. That's it. Keep no violence. Keep it non-violent and non-violent to people. Anyway, uh, keep it non-violent and do what the hell heck you want. If they can abide, if they can follow those two basic rules, anyone can join. We can link up with anybody. And we are linking up with anarchist groups. We're linking up with, 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 with community groups. We're linking up with anybody, absolutely anybody. And we will, we will try to bolster up the uh, September rebellion as well. Yeah. So it's a movement of movements, as it's like to be called. But it's, it's sheer desperation because we're fucked, totally and absolutely. Uh, and this is, this is getting near the. Uh, the end of any chance we're having to, uh, having left to make any significant changes, and it's when you when when, when you actually realise that, that, that there's nothing left to lose, but yet there is everything left to lose. That you, you know you, yeah, we we failure. You can we we it's success and failure. We're not bothered about that at all either. It's just 
we just know in our hearts and in our guts that we have to do something. And when you wake up every morning and the first thing on your head is, how can I break this system? How can I break this system? What can I do to break this system? Then you know you've got to act on that. It's no good hiding it away. I've, I hid it away for too many years and it didn't end well for me. It really didn't end well for me. So, you know, now it's free and it's out there and I'm allowed to act on that. I'm, I, I, I seem to be enjoying life a lot more. I don't feel tied down. I don't feel, I don't feel burdened with anything. Yeah. You know? That sounds great. That sounds great. I, I, I have had a brief look at the Beyond Politics website, but I can't remember much of it because I haven't had time. Uh, I've sort of organised. It's pretty crap at the moment because yeah. we're on a shoestring. I, I, I'm sorry, the web design has done a brilliant job, but, but we're, we're so small and we're, we're, everyone's doing so much. But yeah. You know, we're chucking things here, there, absolutely everywhere. We've got so many accidents. We've got so much happening coming over this next week. Yeah. But, um, you know, but we're not trying to be slick. No, There's no. enough people out there that are trying to be slick. We want, if we look slick or if we go for it, it's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. Then you exclude other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of, half of us can barely read and write, you know, including myself. No, 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 no. I, I, no, I love that approach. Like, like, um... I don't remember much of the website, but what I do remember is that I did like the sort of gritty feel of it com as compared to, because I, okay. I do find Extinction Rebellion stuff, it is too glossy. Like it, it's not, mm. it, 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 it's, um, I understand the need for a bit of a brand, but, but I don't know, for me personally, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I, I still have a lot of, faith that XR does some good stuff but one of but I am critical of lots of stuff and and yeah one of the things is I do think it's slightly too slick in places and, and like you said that does exclude certain people because if you decide on any kind of brand or image then that's that's always going to exclude some people who don't like that particular image so if you can mm. try and, if you can try and keep it quite simple and real then uh well at least you'll, you'll appeal to different demographics, I guess, than Extinction Rebellion. But, uh... Yeah, that, that's, the, that, that, that's what we're aiming to do. And that's, this is why you'll see the, the, the colour uh, uh, um, pink everywhere. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's um, shocking pink originally it was called, and then it's been named something else. But it's, so we never have to have that debate over two months of what colour to do things or what colour is not going to offend, what colour is not going to... It's like, well, I pink. Yeah. We'll just use pink. We'll just, and that came as, as well from this four... At the time I, when I was looking, there's 409 registered uh, political parties and not one of them was using the colour shocking pink. Yeah. So it was, okay, we'll have that, we'll use that. And it, this is another thing that came out of it, uh, out of the process. And so when we're ever sitting in the debate about what colour to... Wear, how about pink? Oh yeah, brilliant. We'll all have. You know, that's it. Yeah. Done. That's yeah, yeah. end on. End of what? 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 Paint bombs are we going to throw today? Well, pink. It'll be pink. Okay, pink. Good. And it's a kind of tagging system as well. When you see things eventually uh, being covered in pink paint, you'll know where it's come from. And any, as I say, any other group can tag it and use whatever they want. Use pink. Use pink yeah. just to show a bit of, you know, that's all, that's the, you know, the, the only sort of conformity or, 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 or branding we'll have is, is just what, what colour you see the police cars driving around splashed in. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> nice <laughs> one. <laughs> I hope you do. I hope you do splash the police cars with paint. <laughs> I, have no, I have no bones about doing that as well. And, and, <laughs> at the moment, I'm banned from carrying tins of paint, marker paint, spray paint. You know. <laughs> okay. Sounds this sounds slightly more radical than extinction rebellion. <laughs> just, yeah. just, just a, a tiny bit. Just a tiny yeah. bit. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um okay, well, like uh, uh, you've already given me some really good energy and, and the viewers. So like I yeah, I mean I want to keep this quite short, but um do you, I don't know if you want to say more about plans like what 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 actions you've got coming up or or a message to the audience to come and join beyond politics or uh... um I, 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 I we've got a few things coming up this week which are going to draw attention to we're, we're doing stuff on the 25th in the Trafalgar Square 
we've said we're, we're, we're actually announcing that we're going to bring down the government on the 25th of this month, 25th of July. Yeah. Um, it could just be like a damp firework, just go, pfft, or it could be glorious, or it could just, we don't know. We yeah. basically don't know how many people are going to show up. We've done this, literally just announced it about a month ago, and everyone's working, working like frantic to get this out, to get, you know, but, um, but it's more of, it's more of a, the starting pistol for what's coming up. It's more of, right, the 25th of July, Trafalgar Square. This is the beginning. And then we'll go on and we'll keep going on and we'll keep going on until either 20 of us are in prison, which we're going to be. Um, and then we'll probably claim political prisoner status. But the, we will end up in prison for this. As it, you know, it's it's not something I want to do, and it's cold, caused me a lot of sleepless nights. And it's nothing that and I don't want your viewers to think that it's reckless or anything like that. Because I've got a lovely garden out there, and I've got two beautiful kids that I get to see. So it, it's you know, it, it's uh, but it, it's it's again, it's that need, it's that need, it's that need to to to, to actually show people that they can't do anything left, uh, anything. They have nothing less left to do to us there's nothing left for, 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 them, for them to punish us with because this is the need to, to the need for our survival and the survival especially of my, my children is far more than than any incarceration or, or anything the law can throw at me it's 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 got to that stage where it, it, i don't care to to be honest about me it's it's who's coming after me we are the last generation that can do anything about this yeah. Please get that in your head. We are the last generation. The children aren't our futures, we're their futures. And we are. The government at the moment are planning on a plus four or plus five degree future. That's like, and, and there's a lot of debate. We're saying plus five, some people are saying plus four. It's like, well, it's like getting hit by a car at 60 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour. You're going to fucking die. You know, there's millions of millions and billions of deaths, and this is what they're planning on now. The 1.5 Paris, Paris agreements were written off; they were gone. They're gone now. They're planning on a future in our children's lifetimes, in our lifetimes as well, of four to five degrees. Uh, that's not acceptable. That is not acceptable. And any human being out there today that isn't protesting well or doing something about it, well, you know, I'll I'll, I'll do what I can for them. And this is why I, I can do it. You know, I'm not saying you have to join me. I'd love you all to join me, but okay. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for everybody. Yeah. All right. That's fantastic, Ben. Um, just uh, actually, you, you, I would like to continue just a couple more minutes because. So when you say um, bring down the government, um, how do you envisage that happening? Is it a similar? Is it a similar? tactic to xr where you're where you're basically trying to get as many arrests as possible um that you want beyond politics to grow that so many people get arrested with you and, and with the rebellion as well that that, that that the government is i mean what do you mean by bring down the government how can that happen well it, basically bringing down the government is as i said with the 25th of uh, of, uh, of uh, july is the start date whether it takes one year whether it takes two years whether it takes three years you've got to say the impossible and do the impossible this is how change works this is it, how social change works you have to be able to stand there and say it and we will stand there and say it and we will keep on at it and keep on at it and be committed to it to however long it takes and when it does come down those people will be standing there looking and say, these guys here actually said months ago, years ago, but this was going to happen and they were going to make it happen. And it's not an ego thing at all. It's, it's just you need people in society to come out and actually say, this is wrong. We're going to do this and we're going to keep on doing this until we get some change or until all of us are dead or banged up or whatever. This is how it works. And if, if, you're, if your listeners wanna, wanna see something or, or, or look up the white, the white Rose movement in Germany, what happened there, it's a, pure, it's a brilliant example. And, and the Spanish, uh, the Madrid elections in 2016, for the mayoral elections in 2016 in Madrid, where there is an impossible task four weeks before the elections and uh, these, these people just got together and they basically won by just being crap. You know, we've got, we've, there's examples of stuff, uh, but it's, it's that, it's that 
doing what's bloody right, doing what you know is right and sticking yeah. to it and not altering and just sticking to it and being right over there, right out, right out, because the people that, are, are, that stand right over and just plant their feet firmly in the ground and say, no, this is how it has to be. You can't just give us in, incremental little changes. We need all of this gone. You've had your chance, you fucked up. We need a chance now because it's the last thing we've got. Yeah, okay. And when you, when you said you guys are envisaging ending up in prison, does that mean you're, you're willing to do quite long sentences, like of a few weeks or a couple, few months even? Or is, uh, 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 yeah, whatever, yeah. It depends how it goes. None of us can predict how any of this goes. Yeah. None of us can predict. We just, we just, this is how it is. This is, we've just got together and, and it's how far do you want to go? How about, and it's those conversations that you have. Uh, you know, the websites might suddenly stop, the social media might suddenly stop, but, and if it does, you'll know why it is. It's because we're all being banged up. There's a few, few people of our members that were ring fencing and say, look, you're a grandmother. You've got a granddaughter coming soon. You can't go in. Your voice is too powerful. You're disabled. We need you on the outside. You'll fight for your friends. That you're not going in. So we're having to stop people volunteering just so we can keep going as an organisation, so we can keep going as a political party, so we can keep going as an activist group. We're having to stop them. Stop them because they want to, you know, it's all, it's all, so many people are all in for this because they were under, it's just coming to that understanding, they've already crossed that, they've crossed that line and coming to the understanding, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Our future's lost unless we actually try to do something about it. All right, have you got a recruitment? Have you got a recruitment uh, channel yet? Like a, like, a, like a way that you, uh, um, like a way, like, I don't know, like a Facebook page or something where people can get in touch and then you phone them up. We've got, we've got, we are Beyond Politics on Twitter at Bespoke Panic. We've got, we've got a guy running that at the moment. I was running it, but I was I'm crap at it. I'm crap at most things like that. So, but we've got, uh, it's mainly, we, a lot of it's been done through um, Facebook page, Beyond Politics. Okay. Um, on a Facebook page, uh, we've got an Instagram, which is just about kicking together now. TikTok, we're, we're, we're the first political party to use TikTok. But I, it's not great at the moment. We're getting there. We're learning. There's a lot of people, you know, we're not slick, as I said. and and, and yeah. There's a lot to do, and there's only a, a handful of us at the moment. But 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 I try, and it's all self-funded. Every single penny at the moment is, including the party registration, and that's a long process. <laughs> it really is. That's, that that was a hard process during, during lockdown by me. Um, but but yes, all of it's been funded by us. But it is. It look for the hashtags beyond politics. Look for just look out for pink and look out for everything being splashed in pink. And, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so good. Well, I'm, I'll put as many links as I can underneath, and I'll also research the White Rose and the thing in Spain, was it? And I'll put those underneath the video as well. And yeah, I really wish you a lot of luck. I need to have a think about whether this is something that I deeply, personally would go with, but I, I am going to think about it. And um, definitely, it sounds like it could be a good flank on the side of XR and a sub, or something to add. I don't know. But um, um, at, at the very least and yeah I look forward to interviewing a lot of your mates uh, uh, anyone involved in Beyond Politics and um, yeah thanks so much for talking to me basically. No, thank you very much no, thank you very much for giving me this chance to speak uh, you, this, if you interview some of our mates uh, they're, 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 some of them are, have the, are more technically minded than me you know no worries yeah. it doesn't matter yeah whatever like, it's, yeah. it's really interesting to hear everyone's perspective so yeah. Yeah. Right. Have a good day, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much, Matt. And you yeah, right. have a good day too. Bye bye. Cheers.